Hello, everybody. How's it going? Ladies and gentlemen, I am a writer that has no working pens. This was my last pen that had any ink in it, and it is now dead. So, uh, I went to the shop the other day and got index cards, I got notebooks, just a bunch of stationary type crap. And I looked at all these pens, and I'm like, dude, I have so many fucking pens. Like, I don't fucking need this shit. And I was writing, like, freehand all day yesterday. And I went through four pens. And I'm like, wow, this is crazy. All my pens are running out of ink. And I'm like, well, maybe it's just because, like, some of these haven't been used in a little bit. So, you know, do the thing, lick it, like, get it wet, put water in the fucking ink well, the whole fucking thing. Nothing. Nothing. So... Now, all I want to do is write by hand, and I don't have a goddamn motherfucking pen in the house, and I'm a writer with no pens. What good is a writer if said writer has no fucking pens? I'm so annoyed. My first world problems and white privilege are fucking strangling me. I just need to go fucking to the store. Fuck. I keep thinking I'm going to look around and I'm going to see a pen that I just didn't think of. And I, <laughs> I keep turning my head and looking around and I'm like, nope. Nope. There ain't no fucking pens. I would even settle for a pencil right now. I was writing with a Sharpie a minute ago. <sighs> Unbelievable. I have purchased so many bags of pens over the course of my life. How is it that now, today, I sit here penless? Has this happened to you? Leave it in the comments down below. So this is the jacaranda these little purple flowers. This is the tree. And the one over there looks better, so I'll go look at that. But these flowers, they get all, they stain the sidewalk like crazy. But they smell really good when they first bloom, and then that's it. But that smell completely reminds me of my childhood whenever I smell it. But yeah, it's really pretty. I didn't know if you'd even be able to see me. Ooh. So the cockroaches are out, so that's fun. Oh, there's another one. Dude, that one's fucking weird looking. Oh, there's another one. Shit, I gotta keep moving. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, they're all over the fucking place. Shit. And I'll probably walk out in the street because you can't see it up there but it's all fucking overgrown and shit oh, oh sorry buddy yeah i'm wearing flip-flops so i don't want to have a bunch of roaches running over my feet i'm not gonna eat tonight because i'm gonna drink my calories like a fucking grown ass man but yeah i gotta hurry before they fucking stop selling booze let's see here i don't want this guy to hit me is he coming this way? Nope, okay, he's going straight. This guy, on the other hand, looks like he's gonna hit me. Oh, they tore down that tent on the corner. I'll have to show you that, because it looks all fucking clean over there right now. Wow, it's fucking crazy. Look how clean that looks over there. <sighs> Let's see here. Which, who's gonna let me walk first, right here? Okay. Yeah, and at this time of night, you can't walk in front of those storm drains because rats run out. So you gotta, you gotta keep fucking walking away from the storm drains. So yeah, look at how clean this looks. Holy shit. 
Looks really nice out here right now. Dude, the food truck's closed. I mean, I don't... What fucking day is this? Oh, I thought it was the weekend. It's fucking like Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Yeah, so there's not gonna be a whole lot of shit open right now. Like, no food vendors or nothing. Shit. Oh, it's been a while since I had a breakfast burrito at Maggie's, so I thought I would share that with you today. Since the smoothie video was such a hit, meaning nobody watched it, um, I thought I would talk to you about a different smoothie. So today, I got peach mango, and it's fucking delicious, just like everything else. Ugh. Also, because of the horrible things I said about my mouth and the smoothie in the last smoothie video, that video got demonetized really quick. I've tried just the mango, delicious. I tried um, pineapple mango coconut, delicious. So it's just like, I don't know, like, it's really hard for Maggie's to fuck stuff up. I got a bunch of dull scorcho, the best hot sauce at fast food. And here is my lovely breakfast burbibo. Oh my gosh. If you go to Maggie's, this is the 99. Bacon, ham, eggs, hash browns, cheese. So fucking good. Del Scorch. Can I get in that little hole? Oh my god, I did. So now we look like that. Okay. That Scorcho, man. You know what I realized about LA, guys? There are all these places that make these like weird fusion or kind of like, like, ooh, check this out. Like, this has never been done before kind of food. And they'll take something simple like a taco and turn it into something fucking crazy. Or french fries and turn that into something crazy. Or pizza and turn that into something crazy. And nine times out of ten, it tastes like shit. But because it's so new and unique, I feel like people feel like they have to like it because like, whoa, this is so different. You can only get this in LA. This is crazy. And they like talk up bad food because it's really unique. And that's fucking LA in a fucking nutshell. Whereas a simple ass fucking breakfast burrito from a fucking donut shop, perfect. You really shouldn't have a smoothie with food because the smoothie is food enough, but man, that just tastes so fucking good. And I went to get a burrito and I'm like, I'm not leaving here without a smoothie. Look at all that goodness. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. Okay. For those of you unfamiliar with Del Scorcho, the only substitute at that point, I think is Tapatio. I think. I'm on the fence about it. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. I should have fucking listened. Let me go. 